Hello, I was asked to uh, figure out a way so that we could use our PSD templates that um, you may have purchased. This version of Photoshop is Photoshop CS, which is version 8. And all you have to do is click on File, and then do Scripts, and Export Layers to Files. And then in this destination, destination, you want to be able to select where you're going to put it. So I'm just going to go to my desktop folder uh, that I've created. And I'm just going to put it in here. Uh, and then you'll click OK. Uh, now, you want to change it to a JPEG. If it was a PNG there, we'd do that. And then I've just been changing it to uh, quality 10. I want it to be the best quality possible. And then when you click Run, you'll notice all these little windows just going through, saving each layer of that template into the folder that I chose. And then you've got this uh, message telling us that Export Layers was successful. Now, in um, Photoshop CS, in case you have that, what you have to do is you have to hold down your Control key. I better move that out of the way a little bit. Hold down your Control key while you click on an element, and it shows just that element. Um, so I'll choose this um, little one right here. And then what you're going to do is File, Save As. Get all my screens over here for you to see. And then choose what, temp, what uh, file that you want to put it in. And then we're going to name this as uh, Ruffled ruffled circle, and make sure you change this to a PNG. And then you can click Save. When you go to this PNG options, make sure None is selected, and you will click OK. Then you'll go to the folder that you um, have saved these in. And you can select each one of these little um, elements. You just right click on it and say copy. And then you open up your artisan program. I lost my mouse. OK. And we'll go to this one. When you right click and you paste it, when you click on it, you notice you've got these squares all the way around it. That's because that template was an 11 by 8 and a half size. So if you'll flatten it, and then you'll go to uh, Cut and Fill. You'll click on the magic wand. You want to keep the selected area. And you're going to click on your uh, element, and then say Cut. Then, now you see you've got just this little tiny bit, uh, instead of the full 8 and a half by 11 size. Now, in order to save that element for your page, you will just right click on it, go to Selection, Save in Personal Art Kits, select the folder that you want to save it in, and you will have to have had this folder already created and set up. And then you'll click Select the Kit, and you want to make sure it's an embellishment. You can choose embellishment or paper. Choose the embellishment, and then you can name it Scallop Circle. And then it is going to be there in your content. And I'll just go and show you the ones that I have done by going down to to get to the right folder here. Templates, Template Elements, OK. We'll select that kit, and then you can just drag it on and reuse it again and again and again. Now, when you're creating the template from the files, let me just go through that process with you. Um, we're going to, um, let's see, remove that photo. 
So all of those elements are PNGs, which are basically a, um, it's kind of like a picture. So you're going to have to bring it in through that. Uh, and you'll just select all of your different elements. Usually the last one is like a piece of paper, and you really don't need that one. And so I just select those different elements or, uh, and pictures. And then when I drag these on, I start with the last one because it's going to put it into the right position. And so I'll drag it on my paper. And if you align it with the same spot up here, you're going to get your page to be overlap the same way that the original pit template was from. Now I'm going to flatten it again. I'm going to take the magic wand and select it and then cut. Then I'll drag the next piece on. And remember, you want to just center that. Now see, you notice that you can't see that scallop circle. We need to flatten. Use our magic wand. Cut. And keep the selected area. And now we can see that. Then we'll just do our next element. And again, match that in the same position. Flatten it. Use the magic wand. Keep the selected shape. Cut. This next one I know doesn't work. <laughs> it's just a little tiny square, or rectangle, I mean. And uh, so instead of doing the cut and paste on that one, I just went to insert a shape and a rectangle. And then uh, I just made it be the same size as this one. Create, rotate, and then I hid that. Then I'll take my little maple leaf that they created. And some of these elements creative, uh, we already have in our kits from Creative Memories or Artists and Embellishments that we've been able to buy. So if you don't need to, then we don't have to flatten and save and I'll let, go to the extra work. But just in case, We'll save this and cut it. OK, there we have our template. Now, this next piece is the photo holders. So I basically use this one as a layout to then insert my photo holders. And I just put the picture box, the photo box on. I'm holding my shift key to change that shape. Now there's four the same size, so I'll just do control C and then control V. Actually, this one looks the same size too. Uh, so we'll just paste, uh, bring these over and align them up like so. One more time. Let's see if it is the same. Nope, it's a little bit smaller. So we'll just hold the shift key and resize. And you can still use the same ones to do all the others. And you'll notice that this um, template is a uh, 8.5 by 11 size. So for it to be a um, one to, that you can use for a 12 by 12, you'd have to resize your photos a bit. So um, just so you know that. You'd have to rearrange your little template holders and things like that. And as you can see, it's really easy to just go ahead and make your own uh, template so that you can then uh, use it uh, over and over and over. OK, so then we can use the Align Tools and Arrange and align all of those at the top. We'll arrange and align all of these at the bottom. And we'll arrange these two with the same edge and scoot them over a bit. And arrange these to be the same. And then you might have to do a little bit of tweaking with these uh, other photo holders.
so that you so that they look kind of in a line <laughs> and lined up and meant to be the way that they are. Um, let's go ahead and make this one a little bit bigger. Anyway, there you've got your uh, template ready to do. And if you want to share that with a friend, you'll just do Save, Export Current Page. And uh, you'll say where you, the file where you want to save it. You'll name it. And then down here, you can choose whether you're going to do uh, artisan format, storybook creator format, or a page format, which is uh, will work in both storybook and creator uh, and artisan. And then you would just click save. And you'll be able to use that uh, for further use. I hope this helps. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to uh, email me at bobsiglow at msn.com.